he was letting it be strong enough that we can understand what he meant here. Hallelujah. And go on down. Hallelujah. The boy said, A raven, such a fellow from earth, for it was not fit that he should live. And they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air. And the sheep captain commanded him to be bought into the castle and bathed and said that he should be examined by scorching, that he even going to rip him. By ripping him and make known where they cried against him. As they bound him, as they bound him with thumb, Paul said unto the surgeon that stood by, it is lawful for you to cause a man that is Mormon and uncondemned. When the surgeon heard that he went and told the sheep, Captain, take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Come in. For the sheep captain came and said to him, Tell me of thy a Roman. And he said, Yea. And the sheep captain answered with a great sum of Dane and his freedom. And Paul said, But I was free born. Then straight away they departed from him, which should examine. Him and the sheep captain also was afraid as he knew that he was a woman and because he bound him. See, sometimes we, we do something and we're going to be sorry. And on the morrow, because he had known the, the certainty whereof he was accused of the Jews and loosened him from the bands and commanded the sheep priest of the council to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them. Before them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read down to verse 23. And Paul earnestly beholding the council said, Men and brothers, I have lived all in good conscience before God until this day. Until this day, listen. And said, A high priest analyzed, commanded them that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. Then Paul said unto him, God smite thee, thou quiet law, for thou sittest thou to judge me, how the law commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law. And they stood by, and they built it, God, high <coughs> priest. Then Paul said, I wish not, brother, that he was the high priest. It was written, thou shalt speak evil of the ruler of the people. That, that, you know, that's, that Jesus get more spoken of bad of today than, than good. Yeah. You know that? <clears throat> yep. I, I hear Christians say, I don't know why Jesus don't do something about this. I don't know why he can't stop this. Because you're not doing it, you're not doing that the right way. Right. You're not doing it the right way. That's right. He gave us all faith yep. to take care of anything right. that comes at us. Amen. We got Amen. power. Yep. Jesus Christ right here in this word tonight. That power is Jesus Christ. Amen. If we That's go right. here and wake up. If we go ahead and wake up the Paul and had to, had to go wake up under a bright light for what Paul, that, that the Lord had hidden for him to do. But what I'm saying, in Jesus Christ, if we go ahead and just obey him, just obey the Lord with God, hallelujah. But that, hey, he, he won't have that no, not, nothing serious come down on you. But you know, if Jesus Christ has called you, brother, you're going to do that work. You're going to work for him, brother, whether you want to or not. I didn't want the job, but he, he gave me the job. And you know, I even walked away from it, but he brought me back to it. Yes. Come on, somebody. I, you know, and I, 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 I got back in it. I said, Lord, I, 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 I'm sorry I wasted them a uh, few years, Lord. No, they, they don't forget about them years. They've already been made up because you're going to finish when you're going to start. Right. when I started. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But all I got to say tonight, it's time that we make sure we're doing it in a real God. That's right. Yes. Amen. It could have, I thought of the Spirit here, the Holy Ghost. I could have gone a little bit longer, but I feel like tonight is. Well, I'm, I'm, let me read just a couple more verses, man, Lord. I don't usually read these many scriptures. Make me feel like we're in Bible study. But when Paul perceived that in one part 
with such seeds and other fire seeds he cried out in the council, men and brother, I am a, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, he, he, uh, you know, they say he was a, a Jew, uh, they were Jews, he was a Jew. If they, if they said that he was a woman, he, he said he was a woman. Hallelujah, glory to God. You know, glory to God. Uh, we'll be all, we all in that one family of God, amen. But in, in what I'm saying here tonight, and they stood by and revealed God's high priest. Then said Paul, I make not, brother, that he was high priest, for his written down should not speak evil of the ruler of the people. We should speak about bad about nobody. But when Paul received that one part of such a seed, the Pharisees, he cried out in the council, men and brother, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, of the hope and resurrection of the dead, I am called and trusted. The reading then what it said. And when he had so said, there arose a dissension between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the multitude, and the multitude was divided. You know, it ain't much, ain't much getting nothing divided tonight, folks. The truth and, and, and not the truth, it don't soon, it, 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 it don't mix. It, it'll divide you in a hurry. You, you're going to see the ones that's really in the truth. You're going to see the ones that are not in the truth. Come on, somebody. Yeah, uh, hey, have you seen what happened there? The Pharisees and the Sessions yes. they used a home together, but they, they divided the self. Glory to God. Because the, the, the one couldn't agree on what the other one was going to do. Glory to God. You, you, got, you, you know, you got, a, you got a bunch of church going to the, the, the night will put you down, but you got a bunch of church people that will praying for you and love you. Yes. Come on now. Yes. You know, yes. hey, it's like it ain't before we go. Yeah. Glory to God. I want to be with the love. Is that brother Earl? Amen. I want to be where, where I can get along with the ones I'm going to die to be with. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to be in confusion all the time. No. Every time I walk in God's house. Hallelujah. Amen. One one sitting on this side of Jews and these sitting over here, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, are, 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 are confusing among them all the time you walk in the door. I get tired of hearing that. I, you know, I don't want to hear bad stuff all the time I go to God's help. I want to hear the good news. Yes. I, I, want, I want to hear about Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yes. If we keep Jesus Christ on the line, we won't have time to worry about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Right. Come on, somebody. But see, we always worry about the next man's message. Right. Instead of worrying about our own, glory to God, when we're supposed to have a mind on Jesus. That's Come right. on, somebody. Yes. And that's where it is. And that's where it is. In the Lord, I, I call the churches today. Y'all heard me here before said, I said the churches got a bunch of Pharisees and Sets seeds in them yeah, today. Right. Uh, it's all they always got committed against one another. Uh, right. then one one saying this, one saying that. But yeah. let me tell you one thing. Right here at Compton, uh, praise the Lord. It's a nice little group of people here, and we do have a good time in the Lord. Right. Amen. Do it, Brother Earl, I don't think we can go to about a little bit to praise the Lord. Right. I, I really believe that in my heart uh, that God has got this thing the way He wants it. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. And I know I won't want it no other way. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to stop right there, Paul. Hallelujah. I just want you to see tonight just a little bit there. Obey God. Amen. Make sure you obey Him. Amen. Don't let things have come upon you. People say, well, you say for me, say for me, well, you see what I'm Paul. See, God, He don't he won't bring no sickness on you. He, he won't do nothing against you. But he let the devil do it. Mm -hmm. we got to make sure we say that right. Mm -hmm. He will let the devil do it. Amen. God always got the top of the end. He always got the last say something. That's right. He got the all to say something. So as long as you know Jesus is on top, you're all right. But I'm telling you, this is just nothing but a wake up call. If it's going to get a lot of people come to the Lord, I don't know what it's going to do. But if something coming behind us, they're going to be worshiping. But Brother Earl, you know yourself. We can't play with God, can we, Brother? People can't play with God. Churches, churches, we can't play with God. No. We got, we got, we got to do it the Bible way. Hallelujah. Sometimes we got, sometimes you know, you got to step away from places, step out of. When you see things going on that's against the Lord. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. How about it? Amen. I hope you got a little bit out of that message tonight. And just a little morning message. That, 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 that I preach for all yeah. God gave me. Like I said, I didn't open it up down to the ceiling of this morning maybe. And then went back into the ceiling and looked around in a little bit. 
Uh, praise the Lord. But be ready for Sunday. Hallelujah. I know usually when God does this, He come right back with me for a hammer and a <laughs> And I'm telling you that tonight. Sunday will be an awesome service. And tell your neighbor, get your neighbor. I like Brother Al be here Sunday. I hope he does. I know. He's supposed to call me. He's going to be a good Baptist. We make sure you come ten o'clock now. Bible study. Anybody got anything you want to say? Anybody need prayer before we go? I just want to. About no food. I want to say something. I got thinking the other that one time. Remember I told you that we went up to Amber Virginia Church for a Pentecostal. She said something to us that made me feel really happy because she seen how we come back to God and she could see the difference in us from it, you know. That's she what, could tell. Hey, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. We represent him. Mm -hmm. That's who we're supposed to be representing. That's what, amen. That's what she said. People, people, people know. Mm -hmm. It's just something about, it's just something about uh, Jesus Christ to be seen in you and I. It, 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 it's just people that, that I mean, you, you, you got people out of day that, not, I mean, I won't say they're 100% Christians, but they know about the Word of God. You know, I, I had more people like that come to me than a regular Christian. And they see, they see, just like a guy, he's seen that I had something that I, when I walked in that garage. And that's why he bought the Lord's name. Amen. We got, I told him, I said, yeah, other thing, other thing. It's wonderful with the Lord. Yes, it is. I kept, and then I told him, I said, you know, this country is blessed. And what some of these other countries is yeah, not blessed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's, it's. Be blessed. I mean, other time we looked at, when, and when you, when you, when, when you got the Lord, Hey, when meal time come, you're gonna you're gonna have something on that plate. Amen. Amen. You did you take all the foreign countries over? I would used to uh, at one time they were begging for money to send over. They starved them to death. All that. If they made the mind up to serve the Lord, they wouldn't have to do that. Yes. Amen. Amen. You don't got to beg when you got the Lord. That's right. We shouldn't have to beg anyway. But especially we don't need to beg when we got Jesus. Right. If you do, you, you can't have that Lord's eye. That's right. I'm telling you, He'll take you up. He takes you all His people. Yes. Amen. You know, sometimes just like Brother Earl, when we looked in the cabinet years ago, and there was one little bottle of one one can of soup left for three people. Yeah. You know, but we prayed. Next thing you know, look back at that cabinet. That cabinet had food in it. That's how the Lord multiplied. Because the Lord said, we were serious. Amen. This thing is serious. Amen. Ain't nothing to play with. Right. I mean, we want something from the Lord. We've got to be serious like He is. That's right. We've got to be serious with God. That's right. To get what we need from God. That's right. I can honestly say, I've signed, I've signed that God bought us low to get us higher with Him. That's right. Yes. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Now it's time God let us get low to get higher with Him. Right. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about tonight to, to go through that experience. That's mm -hmm. right. Not a piece of bread in the house. Mm -hmm. But God made a way. That's right. Yes. Amen. Because I failed. That's right. I heard it many times what we're going to do. That's why, that's why states are blessed. Amen. I'll hold him accountable. That's right. We're going to keep on holding him accountable. Amen. He said, he said if, you, if you serve me, I'm going to provide all things for you. Yes, amen. All things. He didn't say amen. one or two things. Mm -hmm. Brother Ur, he said, I'm going to provide all things for you. I like walking in that path with him. Yes. 
Sometimes I'll be so glad my coat down now and slow down a little bit. A long way, long way, putting in first, folks, you mean you got a thing in the world for a Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. I did hear a little bit more about uh, uh, places getting ready to take that mark of the beast. <coughs> that little ship said that they're going to put in us. Um, Except for we get closer and closer. I ain't saying no more about it. Uh, the Lord, got to hear more about it from Him. Uh, but folks, I'm going to tell you tonight, we're going to have to be more strong than what we are now. Amen. Keep from taking it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have you going to have the devil standing over you. They're going to have a, they're going to be a chopping block guy. They're going to say, look, you're either going to take it, or I'm going to cut your head off right now, but they're going to have to take my head because I ain't going to take no more. But Lord, because I know where my heart is at. Right. But a lot of people, they're gonna, that's when they're going to give in. That's when the devil's going to steal them. The devil's going to steal a lot of people from God doing that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them, a lot of them, there's a lot of them ain't allowed. They ain't going to go through this. But, but if you got Jesus Christ, you might got to suffer a little bit doing it. Let me tell you something. When you got Jesus Christ, folks, He'll take care of that suffering. Yes. Amen. Yes. He'll take care of that suffering. Yes, yes. Amen. That's what we got. This, hey, this is the only thing that we got right now that we can depend on. That's right. Till the day He comes back. That's right. And that, that's 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 God's truth. Yes. The only thing that we got going for us, is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna shut up. Remember that. <laughs>